Well, Kava High School played their first varsity basketball game tonight since a shooting at the school sent a teenager to the hospital. West News Haley Crumble Home is live with the added safety measures the district has put in place and what one grandparent says it will take to actually keep students safe. So things are pretty quiet tonight as cars are leaving campus. Things are wrapping up from that basketball game, but you can see at least one police cruiser out front here. The school district tells me there's an added police presence here and at Edgewater High School, the school they played last week. The game after which that shooting happened, they say that will be the case at least for now, and they're weighing some other changes too. It's just kind of crazy. It's, it's crazy, you know, people, Got to worry about their kids going to school now. That's the reaction Rick Daniels had when he heard about the shooting outside of his grandson's high school, Wakaiva High School. It comes less than two months after a deadly shooting outside of Jones High School when they were playing a football game, also against Wakaiva High School. The district says they're weighing other changes on top of the extra police presence they've had during school and around games at Wakaiva and Edgewater. We're also looking at reviewing our, our parking procedures uh, coming into and going out of and then during the game, uh, just just taking a look at those. Daniels thinks encouraging kids to speak up could help too. You know, you see something wrong, let somebody know. You know, but you know, somebody always says, yo, it's snitching. No, it ain't. It's being safe. But for now, he's glad to have the added police presence. At this day and age, what we're going through right now, we don't know if somebody might re retaliate come back and say, oh, that's his cousin or, you know, something like that. And just for a minute, just, you know, just let them know their presence there. Now, I did reach out to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. They tell me they are still looking for a suspect or suspects in this incident. They say they won't be releasing more information about the teenage victim in this case. The last update we received said they were in stable condition. Live in Orange County, Healy Crumble Home, West 2 News.